Hello and welcome to The Swimmer's Body. We're going to cover a couple of the best ways to build muscle, some of the basic techniques that I use throughout the program. We're going to cover the top seven, the deadlift, the bench press, the squat, the bent over row, pull-ups, lunge, and then we're going to finish with some shoulder pressing. I'm going to demonstrate, the, uh, demonstrate all the techniques for you, um, just on the equipment we have here. Nothing special, um, nothing too much. So the deadlift, you just stick your toes under the bar. You keep your back straight all the time, pushing your bum back. Now, I'm not going to go into it too deeply, but I grip the bra one way and the other, opposite grip, toes and grips there, then pull it up with a straight back. Got my core switched on, that's it, belly in, pelvic floor pulled up, all that kind of stuff. Now, to do the actual lift itself, I'm going to push the hips back, and then bend the knees, and then it's like pulling the trousers up. Hips back, bend the knees, then pulling the trousers up. So keep that back straight all the time. Shoulder blades squeezed together, working the butt cheeks, working the core, working the hamstrings, working the back muscles. Okay, let's move on. So the next one we spoke about doing was the bench press. Now I'm just going to get down on my own because it's not too heavy. But if you're lifting heavy weights or with a heavier bar than this, and you want either a spotter to come in or you want to use a squat rack straight back bench press or bench rack. So from here, you position the hands about a little over shoulder width apart, like so. Pull your shoulder blades down, and then keep your belly button tight, core tight, spine in neutral if you know what it is. I'll bring the bar down over the chest, and then power it back up. I control on the way down, and then move firmly back up. Control on the way down, then nice and strong back up, as I wrap it out there. Keeping the shoulder blades down all the time, and keeping the belly button tight in there as well. So, so I can throw this bar around, we're going to do the squats as well. And keep sideways on to you, so you get a better idea of the technique here. Bar's on my back, like so. It's on the fleshy bits, not on my neck. Similar to the deadlift, I sit backwards, push my bum backwards as I come down. Now, I don't know how fit and strong you guys are, so you might not want to do too deep a squat. Try and come down to where the thighs are parallel with the ground, and pressing back up, keeping the weight in the heels, squeezing the belly and the bum cheeks as you come back up. This takes me nice and bent over row. Working the back muscles again, palms to face me, shoulder blades back and down, belly tight. Now I'm going to pull from the knees into my body, keeping my back straight and still and squeezing the bottom corners of my shoulder blade after each one. The number of reps you do depends on where you are in the program. Just follow me over to this bar. I like having bars. I have bars. Even my bedroom has a bar across it, so I can bang out a few pull-ups whenever I feel like it. So, the pull-up, or let's say here, palms facing away from me, hands wide. Then you pull up, so the chin comes over the bar, and back down. That's the pull-up. If you wish, you can turn the hands round. And then you've got the chin up, like so as well. Moving swiftly on, because I don't want to keep you guys waiting too long. You've also got the lunge. If you haven't lunged before, do it without weights. Here you've got a nice long stride there. You come down, come back up. At the bottom, if you were to put your knee on the floor, you'd have 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, coming from down to it like so. Try not to let the front knee come forwards and over. Keep the heel on the ground, and you'll get a nice little work on that thigh. If you're feeling a bit strong, you can have a bar on your back, like this one down here. Now I'm just going to finish off quickly with a shoulder press. One of my favourite exercises, because you can always feel it work. I keep the belly in, the core tight, bum cheek squeezed. I press straight up above the head, and then come back down, pressing out like so. Keeping it under a lot of control. I don't go behind my head, because most people just don't have the shoulder range that I have. So normally we just keep it in front, keeping it strong in the shoulders, and keeping them safe at the same time. That's my seven big exercises for building muscle. And we use them all the time with our clients, and you'll find them throughout the whole program on the swimmer's body. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Go away tonight, put the weights on the end, and start lifting.